there is about a 10 to 15 foot alligator that was in the road and it is now thrashing around in front of one of the units in their in their door and it is huge and if that owner wakes up they're going to be in big problems because it's right there in front of their door and, he, and he's making a sound i mean he's thrashing <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot more than it just outside of her house. That call from uh, that you just heard from 911 to police, it's a close call with a gator. That's common here in Florida, right? I can't think of a case, though, when a gator broke into a person's home, and that's exactly what happened this morning in Eagles Landing. It's a neighborhood in Clearwater, and 10 News reporter Bo Zimmer is out there this afternoon. Bo, how in the world did this gator get in that home? Allison, I've covered a lot of stories, never one quite like this. The front door was locked. This alligator somehow managed to crash through the front window. The owner, Mary, she was inside sleeping. She didn't know what was going on. Thought maybe the roof was caving in. Instead, it was an intruder, but not the kind anyone would ever expect. Imagine waking up to this inside your kitchen. It's what one Clearwater woman found lurking inside her home around 3.30 Friday morning. I have a gigantic alligator who came in through my garage and is sitting in my kitchen, a huge one. I'm sorry, is it in your house? Yes. Okay, you said it's in your it's Clearwater police went out to the home on Eagles Landing Circle. The caller, Mary with Chusen, needed no instructions on what to do next. We've got a couple officers on the way up there. Just stay inside your room, keep the door shut and locked. Um, I'm not uh, going anywhere. When I approached further closer, he was already then laying in the walkway by the front door. Newspaper delivery driver Patricia Pecora was about an hour into her route when she first spotted the gator while it was still outside. Minutes later, she heard a loud crash of what turned out to be the gator smashing through the home's front window. She too called for help. I would not want to be waking up and opening my door to seeing that creature. I mean, because he was very, very huge. This 11 foot gator was so huge. Officers called out two separate trappers. It took a team of about 12 several hours to get the gator back out the window. It first came in. Maybe he saw the image of himself in the glass thinking it was another gator. But Cora, who's been up since 11 o'clock last night, says she'll be back up right and early. Okay. What's this going to be like tomorrow if you're delivering a paper and you happen to be on the front page? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just glad I was able to assist and help and just get the people out here to, you know, to do what they needed to do. And the rescuers and the, the police officers, they're the heroes front page news and this is making news all over the country. In fact, I just had a chance to talk with Mary. She actually got a call from her daughter up in Philadelphia where they heard it on the news before they had a chance to talk with mom. She was busy at work all day doing interviews. I had a chance to talk with Mary. We're going to hear much more from her coming up tonight at six o'clock. We'll see you guys then. Oh my goodness, Mary. You can't imagine starting your day like she did. Now, FWC says that the amount of nuisance gators increased by 20% over the last five years. It's not necessarily their fault, though. FWC says that's likely because of Florida's increasing population, not necessarily the amount of gators. More people means more opportunities for gator conflicts. Five Bay Area counties make the top 10 for nuisance alligators. Polk and Hillsborough had the most. So what do you do if you see a gator, keep in mind, never feed one. It is dangerous and it's illegal. When you find them, alligators can overcome their natural wariness of people and they learn to associate people with food. So don't feed them and keep your distance when you see one. Only swim in designated swimming areas in daylight hours. Alligators are most active between dusk and dawn and keep your pets on a leash and away from the water. They can resemble alligators, natural prey.